cut the egg a wee well in the middle. Go then. You think I've done this before? Look, look at the steam in the mix. Now see how fluffy. That's because we didn't work it too long. Paul from Three Dads TV. Now I'm going to show you today how to make scones. Simple, perfect scones. Now, this is what I do for a living, so I should be able to get it right. I've been making these scones for over 20 years. Never had one complaint. Try the wolf. Anyway, we're going to show you how to make them. Really, really simple. Three ingredients. Self-raising flour. One pound of, now I don't know what you call that in the US of A, it could be all purpose flour or baking powder or whatever, but in this country it's self raising flour. So, one pound self raising flour, four ounces of caster sugar, four ounces of salted butter. Now, really simple, really simple. Uh, and there, there is a mechanism for this, so if you want to, this makes six scones. If you want to um, up the dose or whatever, it's quarter of sugar and butter to your flour. So one pound would be four ounces, two pounds would be eight ounces and so forth. So one pound of freezing flour, four ounces of caster sugar, four ounces of butter. Put that out of the way. Then with clean hands we mix. Now there's none of this kneading through the fingers nonsense, just mix it. Get the air in about it and doing this every day for the last 20 years is just a joy and to share it with you people now just makes me so happy <laughs> right so anyway we mix around and then give a wee rub so the butter and the sugar incorporate into the flour you don't have to be too mental about this it doesn't have to be green sand perfect you just want it to be together so a couple of minutes doing this and then we're ready to rock and roll. If you're like me, I'm quite messy. I'm trying to get it all over my clothes. I mean, normally we have an apron or something for this, but this is for the benefit of you people. So I'm showing you my wonderful attire. Now, you don't want to be doing this like Jamie Oliver or Gordon Ramsay or any of these charming people using organically based great flour from some Tibetan mountain place where monks produce it by spitting saliva from their toes at it. Cheapest self-raising flour you've got. This one is value self-raising flour from Tesco's at 51 pence for two and a half kilos. You don't need the most expensive ingredients to make really nice scones. Now, there we go. We get a close up on that, producer Mark. Is that nice? Does that look nice? Does that tickle your whistle? Can we do now? You uh, uh, but I wouldn't recommend it. We just do like sweet dough. Now, what we need, I'm going to have to reach out shot here to get an egg. We need an egg. An egg. Large, medium, small, it doesn't matter. It's an egg, right? Cut the egg, make a wee well in the middle. Go then. There we go, we'll throw that out of shot mark. Now, I have to go over to the fridge now to get some milk. Don't panic, I'll be back. Milk. Now, for those uninitiated among us, we need 200 millilitres of milk for a pound. So, I'm going to guess, because I'm not bad like that. And I also need a spoon out of the drawer. And something to mix it with. You don't want to get it all over your hands already at this point, so mix away. Put it all in together like that. Now, at this point, when you get this all together, this would be a plain scone. Okay? But, what I'm going to do is reach over here and add some generic fruit. Put in what you like. Cherries, Humpty Dumpty, I don't care, it's up to you. I'm using Sultanas which is not a raisin, it's a salt tanner. And I put in as much or as little as you like. I put in a bit that much. Does that look nice, Mr. Mark? Still, Still can't eat it, no, it's got raw egg in it. And then we get a wee mixy in like that. 
magnificent. Oh, look at that. That's looking very sort of gummy. Tiny drop of more milk, I think, in there. And the measurements weren't exact as I thought. If you overdo the milk, don't panic. But 200 ml should have been good. If it goes gooey, really gooey, that you can't work with it, just add a bit more self-raising flour and it'll bind back right up again. But this, if you, you can't go wrong with this. The measurements the way I'm showing you, if you get this wrong, you shouldn't be making scones. So, there we go. And there is the consistency you desire. Not too wet, just enough to grip it together. There you go. Right, now, get that off my hands. Next stage, plain flour. You can use self-raising if you want, it doesn't really make a difference, it's purely to stop it sticking to your work surface. Then, a baking sheet or tray, thusly, light dusting of flour, just again so they don't stick. If you want, you can put greaseproof paper down or something equivalent. I just use flour. Again, it makes no difference, as long as it doesn't stick to the baking sheet. Now, still in shot, Mr. Mark? Mm, as always, we hope so. Be a pop down just to over an inch thick. Now, what we need is this device. A scone cutter. I have a rather large one. <laughs> mwah, mwah, mwah. And then, cut them out. There we go. So, are we seeing how nice and thick and delicious these are? Just over an inch. Now, that's going to bring you a big, big fluffy scone. Now, the recipe I gave you was for six. I, however, am making slightly more. Because I like scones. As you can see by my belly. There we go, look at that. So I should get nine out of my mix here. Just because myself and producer Mark need a taster. Just to make sure for you people, it's delicious. Pat pat. Right there we go. Look at that, nine scones. You'd think I'd done this before. Pat that one in, nice and gently. You don't want to knock the air out of them, that's the big thing. What a mess I'm making. Right, that away. Now we need another egg. What for? I hear you ask, Mr. Mark. Why? Because we need to glaze the top of the scones. So we should take a little bowl, crack the egg, drop it in. Then with Tesco high quality one pound baking basting brush, we mix the egg. None of this egg wash nonsense, mixing milk or salt and pepper or all that pretentious crap. You can keep this simple, it works a treat. Just egg, mix it in, baste it on. There we go, look at that, make that, it's a lovely glaze. Now, before you start all this, you should have put your oven to Gas Mark 4, 180 degrees or 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Which cooks these scones to perfection. There we go, look at that. Does that look delicious yet? Put these back into shot there for the big camera. Yummy, yummy, in my tummy. So, we plonk these in the oven and we'll come back in about. Now, see, this is the tricky bit. Depending on your oven, now they give you all 20 minutes, 30 minutes, it depends on your oven. Every oven in the world is different. It could take 20 minutes, it could take 40. You keep your eye, but they go nice and golden brown. Maybe turn them around in the oven to get an even glaze across them. But it's all dependent on your oven, and nobody can tell you it's 20 minutes. It's not, it depends on your oven, right? So, mine takes about 25 27 minutes, but keep your eye on the oven. Golden brown is what you want, and you can only touch. If they're too soft to the touch, they're not ready, but they start bouncing. Okay, here we go. And we'll come back to you in 25 to 27 minutes, and we'll tell you and show you how they look and taste. Ta ta for now. Thought we'd do a wee check halfway through cooking. Now that's halfway through cooking. Look how golden and lovely, but they're not ready. See what I meant about the softness? There, they're just too soft. 
back in stores. We'll come back when they're ready in our 10 minutes. And now we're up for the big reveal. Scones from the oven. We need something to take them out. Don't take it out with your bare hands or you'll burn your fingers. I don't need to tell you, do I? Open heaven and out they come. Oh, steam glasses, come see a thing. Now, look at this. Mmm, scones. <whistles> yummy, yummy, yummy. Are we okay there in shot? Flatter? Yes. There we go. That look nice. Now, you see that nice golden colour? Nice golden colour, which means they're delicious. Now, with any luck, they should just remove because of the nice flour coating. That's burning my fingers quite substantially, so I'll put it down again. Shall we taste one, Mr. Mark? We'll try it. We'll try it. Right, we shall get that plate to put it upon. We'll take the scone from the plate. We'll put the big tray out of the shop now, I think. Make it go away. We'll have all of them later. Right, scone. Now, the only time to eat a scone is when it's fresh out of the oven. So what we shall do is some butter. We don't use margarine because I mean that's one molecule away from plastic. Or is it pepto? Which is it? Remember? I don't know. Uh, margarine, you know, butter only. So in fact we don't even need to use the knife. Look at this. Look, look at that steam and the knife. Now see how fluffy. That's because we didn't work it too long. They might not look beautiful scones, but they taste amazing. So what we do is We'll put the butter up here. I use little butter portions because oh, I'm in the trade. But what we do is a little butter portion on there and we just let it melt a little bit. Look at that. Yummy, yummy in my tummy. Put that on there. There we go. That look good? Does it look good? Does it look edible? Look at that milky butter. Mmm. It's almost sexual. Mmm. Mmm, what not? Not for me. Not for you? Are you on a diet for something? Mmm, well, I'll tell you what we'll do. I'm just going for it. Look at this. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Here's where they're raw. I get food poisoning and die. Mmm. Mmm! Perfect. Catch us again. Oh, by the way. If you want us... <clears throat> speaking of my mouthful bad. If you want us to recipe anything for you, i.e. pancakes, uh, cockle van, anything you want, we'll cook it for you. Just tell us what you want. If this works. If this doesn't work, then don't bother. But I promise you it will. If you do it right, this will work. You're the perfect score. But we can do pancakes or bread even. Don't fancy cooking bread, but if you want me to cook bread, I'll cook bread. Catch us again. Hit the likey likey button. And watch Three Dads TV on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, wherever we are. And uh, enjoy. See you next time. Yeah, we don't want to do anything to scare your children. That's the last thing we want to do.